case this has been a unique week in the world of comics with Archie. Yes, Archie from Archie Comics. Yes, they still make Archie Comics. And I think it's The Life of Archie, which is the, the progressive themed Archie comic. He is going to be gunned down and intercepting an assassin's bullet that was destined to kill his ex-military senator friend, or I guess now it's his best friend, who is very much against guns, who was first stricter gun policies. Of course, that's not the direction they put the words when they describe this character. They actually normally describe it in all the articles that I've read. Archie is going to die in something bullet designed to hit his openly gay senator ex-military best friend. A few years ago, Archie made massive waves, I guess, or massive waves from the standpoint of Archie, where they had a same-sex marriage with a guy who was ex-military. That person is now a senator who is very much anti-gun because someone tried to kill his husband. So that's about as progressive as you can get in having somebody attempt an assassination on someone who's openly gay who's against guns, therefore using guns. I'm pretty sure the person will probably have a shirt that says like Romney 2014 on it, or 2016, who knows. <clears throat> so they'll probably pick what I'll send you into being a, a probably middle class white guy who will have an issue with the government, who will probably also be ex-military. Because that's just the way media likes to portray, you know, a killer of some sort. And, Thor is becoming to become a woman. Now, don't think that Thor, Chris Hemsworth Thor, is becoming a woman. No, they are again having Thor, <coughs> Thor lose Mjolnir and go to a woman. For a different series. I do believe they've tried this in the past. This isn't the first time Thor has lost his powers. It's almost like Thor losing his powers and coming to Earth to learn humility. Man, that'd be a great thing for a movie. Oh yeah, that was the first Thor movie. The only difference is it's going to be like a similar scenario, just a woman's going to be wielding the hammer of Thor. Which is something that's never been done before by somebody like Storm or Wonder Woman. But it's one of those ways to try to cater towards the, the female audience. Yeah, because, you know, why, why do a book about Valkyrie or about Sif? Why take a pre-existing character and make them more important? You know, it's not like they've got a book about anybody like Captain Marvel or anything. It's not like there aren't a whole host of female characters that would be very interesting to push more towards the limelight. Instead, they're going to replace a male character with a female character. <clears throat> or maybe, just maybe, they never should have canceled, I think it was Spider-Girl, who was the alternate reality uh, daughter of Peter Parker who had a tremendous, I think she was Mayday Parker, who had a tremendous following. So there are other ways to do this. Just something is weird that they're going to be like, oh, Thor's now a woman for this. So is it going to be the exact same stories, just female Thor dealing with male Loki? So they've done stories where they've had female Thor before, as well as female Loki. I don't see how this is, one, shocking, unless, of course, when they do the movie, Yes, and that's when they do Avengers 2 or the third Thor movie, it's, it's female-led. Well, that would be a huge announcement. They're probably not going to do that, because why would you jeopardize a multi-multi-million a dollar, well, actually, now we're in the multi-billion dollar project, when instead you can just do it for a comic, which, if it doesn't go anywhere, you just sweep it on the rug, it never happened. So that's pretty much your major things going on in the world of comics. What's going on with DC? I really don't know. No one's really talking about DC. Except, of course, when it comes to Superman versus Batman, Dawn of Justice, JLA prequel with, like, the 45 different characters. So it'll be Warner Brothers' attempt at doing an Iron Man 2 without establishing any additional characters to then go forward and do a Justice League movie. 